we have discussed about the stars and we have also discussed about the planets but then now we need to know that what is the difference between the stars and the planets why the planets are planets and why the stars are stars why both are not same what is what is the difference between the two the stars and the planets so now we will focus upon the difference in the stars and the planets stars and planets we all know stars are the objects which has their own light they are luminous object isn't it and the planets they do not have their own light they get the light from the sun so first point stars are luminous object are luminous object this i have uh, discussed twice or thrice that the luminous objects are those objects which has got their own light which emit their own light and non luminous are the one which do not have their own light so now i do not have to explain i don't need to explain now what is the meaning of luminous object over here <coughs> now the planets are non luminous these are non luminous object now the stars they always twinkle stars twinkle but they do not i am writing in short in incomplete sentences i am not writing over here the complete sentences so these twinkle they do not twinkle they do not twinkle now the if we talk about these stars how many stars are present i'm talking only about our galaxy in milky way in akash ganga only billions of stars are present many 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 stars are present we cannot count them and we know that that we cannot count we cannot count the stars but can we count the planets in uh, only i'm talking about our galaxy definitely we can we have only eight planets so planets are only eight and stars are billions billions of stars are present billions of stars are present but we have how many planets only eight planets are there now the temperature at the star is very very high the temperature of the star is very high because the heat is produced itself you know uh, like itself and this is there itself the heat is produced so temperature is very high temperature is very high at the and then this much is enough to understand the temperature is very high at the the surface of the star so i'll just drop this the temperature is very high it's low please frame your sentences i won't be writing the complete one the stars are of dot shaped but the planets are disk shaped disk shaped the planets are of disk shape so these all are the basic differences between the stars and the planets we know the basic difference that the stars shines they have they are bright they uh, twinkle the temperature is very high they are luminous they have their own light whereas the planets they do not have their own light and they shine they uh, have the light of sun if we try to look 
in this car and we try to uh, figure out that which one is the star and which one and if we want to look at the planets. So, what is the difference how can we understand that this body is planet uh, that particular body will not have so much of shine as the plan, uh, as the uh, stars has. So, these are the very basic differences between the stars and the planets and now we will talk about some new topic and that is constellation. Now, what is the meaning of constellation? Constellation means the group of stars, the group of stars which uh, you know comes together which are always found together and their boundary if uh, try to we try to match their boundary in the uh, way of uh, how can we match their boundary imaginary lines. If we try to match their boundaries they come up with some figure some shape which is always which is already there maybe the shape of the some letter maybe the shape of some human being some animal maybe the take the example of the great bear uh, the uh, different shapes uh, or yawn if we talk I will be explaining it. So, what is constellation? Constellations are the group of stars which always are found together which are always found together and their boundaries come up with certain the outline is can be recognized or uh, their boundaries has got some recognizable shape the shape which is already there. Now, we will just write the definition what is constellation a group of stars. which are always found together and their boundaries gives and a recognizable shape maybe of a human or an, an animal. What is constellation or group of stars? A group of stars which are always found together and when we try to mesh their boundaries it come up with certain shapes which is already there. Maybe the shape of the human being, maybe the shape of the animals in that way. So, these constellations in all there are actually 88 constellations till now we have found. 88 constellations are there. few are there in the northern sky and few are there in the southern sky. So, there are in all 88 constellation we will just discuss 2, 3 of them which are very very important we are not going to discuss all 88 or even 10 we will be discussing only uh, 3 to 4 constellation. Now, first of all we will talk about Pleiades, we will talk about Pleiades. Now, we are discussing about Pleiades. Uh, just now I said that these stars have got certain shape, they resemble certain shape, but you know Pleiades is the one which do not have any kind of arrangement, it, it do not have any kind of arrangement. Here stars do not have any arrangement they 
is it visible from there yeah so then why do we uh, take them under the constellation they do not have any arrangement they do not have any shape here they do not have any shape also but you know what actually they are in they are in a group they are in a cluster and always they are seen uh, like this only they all the stars that particular group is in the cluster so they are in cluster and these stars which are there in the cluster the stars which are there in the group are known as globular cluster stars present in it are known as globular cluster so stars which are present in them are known as globular cluster so we are talking about the constellation what is the meaning of constellation constellation means those stars which are always found together the group of these stars and they are they give a kind of a shape uh, if even you talk about the clouds you know the clouds whenever you see uh, in the sky the clouds you you will yourself imagine certain different shapes especially talk uh take the uh, talk to uh, the you know children very small children they will tell you yeah it's looking like you know sometimes maybe a ball and sometimes it is looking like an elephant sometimes it is looking uh, giving a different shapes similarly the stars when they are in certain groups and these groups are definitely they will be together only and they come up with certain shapes then it is known as constellation but when we talk about pleiades there we do not find any particular arrangement we do not see any particular we are not able to frame any kind of shape over there but then it is a group of many stars the cluster is there and the stars which are present in this cluster are known as globular clusters so this this one is the first which is pleiades now we'll talk about the second one we'll talk about the second constellation and that is cassiopeia we'll be talking about the second constellation and this is cassiopeia now here the uh, the stars make a make the shape of the w actually the uh, this one is the group of five stars five stars makes cassiopeia five stars are responsible to make this group or we can say in a simple language that the five stars make uh, they their arrangement is known as the particular i'll show you how they are arranged are known as cassiopeia now this one is known as krutika in hindi krutika and this one is known as sarmishta pleiades is known as krutika and this one is known as sarmishta in hindi now when we talk about kesopya five stars come up together and this one is seen near it is present near pole star we'll talk about the pole star also in detail so uh, these one are present the these cassiopeia these uh, the, the structure or these stars they are uh, uh, far in number and they are uh, present near the pole star now it can be best seen children in the month of the october it is best seen in the month of the october and where it is seen in the northern sky just now i told that there are certain constellation which is very uh, clearly seen 
which are present in the northern sky and there are certain constellations which are present in the southern sky. So, Cassiopeia is the one which is seen in the northern sky. Now, the next is uh, what, what I have written that first of all the five stars make this Cassiopeia. It is situated near the pole star and can be seen in the month of the October in the northern sky and in Hindi it is known as Sarmishta. So, how does it looks like children? So, it is like this. And then like this. Now, this one is the line and I will show you where the, these all lines are the imaginary lines. Stars are never connected in this way, but we have imagined the lines in this way and we consider this one as the W. Now, where these stars are located? These stars, I will take some other color chalk which will be visible on this. So, it is one of the star is present here, the other one is present here, the third one is present here, the fourth one is present here and the fifth is present here. Now, these stars are present likewise only, but we have imagined that a, a line we have drawn, it is not there in the sky. So, just if we try to frame this in a line in a recognizable shape, if we want to make it, it will come up into this, this kind of shape which gives W. So, it is, it gives W shape. It is forming or framing a W shape. So, this is Cassiopeia which is uh, having, which is made up of 5 stars and when we connect the stars with the help of the imaginary line, then it gives the shape of the W. It is seen in the northern sky in the month of the October. When we talk about the Pleiades, uh, here when I say this one is seen in the month of October, so th even this one is seen best in the winter days. It is seen in the winter days. So, here the stars they do not have any arrangement, but the cluster the group of stars are present, bright stars are present and these stars are the, the stars which are present in this cluster are known as globular clusters. So, we are discussing about the first of all we have discussed here the difference between the stars and the planets. Then we discuss about the oh it is it got dropped by you know I just my I leaned over here and so it got dropped. So, constellation uh, which we are discussing now also group of stars see over here a group of stars which gives a recognizable shape. This shape we know the shape this is W. So, we know this shape and so the group of stars when we try to make them join them with the imaginary line it gives the recognizable shape W shape we all know. So, it is the it is a constellation. The name of this constellation is Cassiopeia which is giving a W shape and the how many stars are there 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and in Hindi it is known as Sarmishta and it can be best seen in northern sky in the month of the October. Now, we will talk about the next uh, constellation. We will be discussing three more constellation now. Please note this points. Now, we will talk about next constellation and that is Orion and it is not Oreo biscuit ok. It is Orion. So, we will talk about Orion. Constellation we are talking about In constellation we have already discussed two and this is the third one. Now, here the stars are arranged 
uh, arrangements they are present in this way that uh, it looks like you know it gives a different shape it looks like a, a hunter you know a hunter is standing so we just will talk more about this i'll just try to draw the picture also picture in the sense they are i'll try to locate the i'll try to draw certain you know stars lines but it won't be very clear it won't be very very clear because the stars uh, if you want to see clearly the stars this constellations you need to see on the screens maybe on the net uh, net so it looks very clear and you can understand the thing in a better way now we'll talk more about orion and this one in hindi first of all it is known as mriga in hindi it is known as mriga or even it is known as vyadha in hindi it is known as mriga or vyadha and this constellation is seen in winters can be seen in winter and just now i said that it looks like a hunter a hunter standing with a shield in his hand so it looks like it looks like hunter with shield so it looks like the hunter uh, with the shield the major part the body of the stars uh, the body of the orion is made by the bright stars the body the main body of this uh, this constellation is uh, like who is present over there the bright stars are present in that part so major body is made of bright stars and head and limbs and head and limbs are made by some fainted stars are made up of fainted stars we are talking about the third constellation that is orion it gives a shape of the hunter a hunter who is standing along with the shield now the main body is made up of the bright stars and the head and the limbs the uh, limbs are made by the fainted star and you know even the uh, i'll just try to draw the diagram over here but basically it can be seen uh, in the three dimensional way uh, you need to see on the net it will look very nicely uh, you will be able to see it very nicely you will be able to understand it very nicely so somewhat if i draw very rough diagram then just i can draw in this way so now this one is the outline and here are the stars here three stars are present 3 to 5 so like this the stars are present now this one is known as the orion now if we we'll try to now this one is the stars this is the belt of the you know will look it will be visible very nicely here the belt of the uh, hunter can be seen and the uh, even the head and the shield the hand can also the hand can also be seen now you know if i draw again a very rough sort of a diagram so it will come somehow like this yes somewhat like this it will come and uh, here it will be like this and this will be like this so now i'll make it darker here like this you can see 
this one is the belt then this one is the lower body the shield and the arm like this so here the stars are present and it gives the shape of the hunter you know hunter is standing over here the stars are present here here i will just take another chalk so it is visible by this chalk here the belt is there so in this way the stars are present over here here also the belt can be seen very nicely so this one is orion which gives the shape of the hunter who is standing with the shield and uh, it can be seen nicely in the winter days now we'll talk about the next constellation and the next constellation is the ursa major now this ursa major gives the shape of the great bear it gives the shape of the great bear and it can be seen very nicely from the month of april to september it can be seen seen in the month of the april to the september or we can say in the summer days and where it can be seen in the northern sky it can be seen in the northern sky and here in ursa major five to i, I can say the um, i should say the seven stars the seven stars makes the ursa major the seven stars forms the great bear now we'll talk about the structure also and uh, this great bear uh, you know can like one uh, shape which i am telling that it looks like a great bear but there are other different shapes also which can be you know which can be made from this particular group only so we'll talk about that also so first of all what we are talking about we are talking about ursa major this is known as great bear uh, because the shape Uh, in which it is arranged it looks like the bear so it is known as great bear it can be seen from april to september or i can say that this can be seen in the summer days in the northern sky now actually the uh, stars can be divided like you know i'll just have to draw first of all so this one is the yes and then this is the tail so now i'll make it darker this one is the body of the ursa major and this one is the tail now in total seven star makes the ursa major so where they are present 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this gives the shape now the when i talk about the great bear you won't be able to understand the great bear shape from this and when we talk about great bear children the uh, one i'll just need to give the numbers also now when we talk about the great bear so the one to four stars number one to four stars one two three four this one to four and five six and seven so this one is the one which makes the body and five star like one two three four 
वन टू थ्री फोर दी स्टार्स आर मेकिंग बॉडी एंड फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन दी स्टार्स आर मेकिंग वॉट दीज आर दी वन विच आर मेकिंग दी लोअर पार्ट Now these are the main stars, the bright stars. These one are the brighter stars, and these one are the fainted stars. Along with this, can you uh, recognize? Can you uh, or are you able to understand some other shape from this? Look carefully. This also looks like a kite. So it also looks like a kite. In kite also, one, two, three, four makes the body of the kite. And five, six, seven makes the tail of the kite. So, which kind of a kite is it? A kite with a big tail. With a big tail. Can you see very carefully? It also looks like a cup with a handle. So, it also looks like a cup with handle. In this case also, one, two, three, four makes the cup, and this part will make the handle of the uh, cup. Now, it also looks like the cushion mark. It also looks like the cushion mark. Uh, which cannot be seen very clearly from this diagram, but at least from this. two things can be understand very easily that you uh, this looks like the kite also and it looks like a cup also so we are discussing uh, some major we are discussing the constellation and these constellations are giving certain peculiar shapes certain recognizable shapes now this ursa major is made up of total seven stars 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 it is known as great bear and uh, great bear in the sense because it gives a shape of the great bear also now uh, the it can be seen in the summer days from the april month to the september in the northern sky now the kite if we talk about that it gives the structure of the kite then again the same thing 1 2 3 4 makes the body of the kite 5 6 7 makes the tail of the kite if we talk If we say that this looks like a cup, then even the cup one, two, three, four makes the body of the cup, and the five, six, seven makes the tail of the cup. Now, uh, this one is the very important uh, constellation. It's very common, and even it looks like the question mark. Uh, at present, it's not visible from this side, but it gives a shape. You know, just imagine like this. Like this one is the curved shape, and this one is the just the straight line. So again, here the uh, curved line can be seen, and the question mark can also be the straight line can also be seen. So this is Ursa Major, and now we will be discussing the next uh, constellation, which will be the, which will be the last constellation, and then we will move to the next topic. So. now we'll talk about the next constellation that is ursa minor this is major and that is minor so please note this points and we'll talk about the ursa minor